Hi, and welcome to this section of the Basic Math Word Problem Tutor. And in this section, we're going to continue on with percents. In the last section, we learned that a percent is really just expressing something compared to 100. So it's a fraction uh, with 100 in the denominator. And it can also be used to express a decimal by moving the decimal points. And so the problems there were dealing with things like Here's this many people in a room, these many people have a yellow hat on, what percent of those people have a yellow hat on, and then you did the math to figure that out. Here we're going to continue using the same uh, ideas of percents, but the problems will have a slightly different flavor. And rather than just explain what that flavor is, let's go ahead and just start working the problems. You already have the skills to do these problems, but we're going to practice them here. Okay? In a classroom, there are 30 students. If 50% of them are boys, how many are boys in the class. So this is a little bit different because you're not asked to find the percent, you're actually given the percent and you're told that you have 30 students and 50 percent are boys, how many uh, boys are in the class, okay? So what we know is we have 30 whole students and 50 percent, which, which would mean that 50 out of 100 of them are boys, how many uh, boys do we have? Well, don't forget that when you have 50 percent of something Okay, that can be expressed as 50 over 100, which we've already talked about. Uh, we've already talked about. It can also be expressed as a decimal, which is taking this decimal and moving it two places, 0 0.50. That is a, uh, that is a uh, decimal representation of this percent. Okay, so if we have, uh, well, and, and the problem actually says 50%, uh, I'm just going to write it here, of the class are boys. Okay, this 50% of, of is usually a keyword for multiplication and in this case it is too. So what we're going to have is 30 people in class and we're going to multiply it by the 50% because 50% is telling us how many people in the class are actually boys in terms of a percent but we you can't multiply by 50 because this is a percentage and this little percent symbol doesn't really do anything for you when you multiply. You need to use the decimal equivalent to actually do this multiplication. That's why I've been teaching you the decimal equivalent. So I'm going to put 0 0.50. This leading zero, you can drop it, uh, you know, any, any uh, you know, 0 0.25, 0 0.55, whatever. This leading zero really doesn't um, do anything for you, so you don't have to carry that around in your problems. Just put 0 0.50, okay? And uh, then you can go ahead and, and, uh, and do it here, okay? So let's go ahead and multiply. Okay, remember how to multiply your decimals. So now this, this entire problem reduced down to uh, this multiplying uh, decimal. Okay, so 0 times 0 gives you 0. 0 times 3 gives you 0. Okay, moving on to this one, you have to put a 0 over here to continue multiplying. 5 times 0 gives you 0. 5 times 3 gives you 15. Okay? Alright, so now you add. To do it, go ahead and finish your, mul your multiplication out. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus zero is zero. Five plus blank, so just five. And one plus the blank, which is the uh, same as zero, is, is a one five there. And so you have to figure out where to put your decimal. You go back to your problem and you see where are my decimals. I've got decimal here. I've got two spots after the decimal. No decimals here. So I have to have two spots after the decimal in my final answer. So the answer is 15.00. And as you know, zeros after a decimal point can be, can be dropped. So the answer is 15 uh, people are boys in the class. Okay, 15 people are boys. So really all you did was you multiply by 0.50 uh, there. And you just get a number that's 15.00. .00, 